This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You know, it's, it's one thing when you got a president who's under siege, let's say, from the other side. Benghazi hearings, things like that. Legal bills rack up. But it is a completely and separate thing, an entirely different thing, when a president, uh, former ex-president in this case, is uh, under criminal investigation himself, personal criminal investigation, and has hired criminal attorney representation. And that his political party, in this case, Donald Trump, the RNC, I'll just cut to the chase here. I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. I'm going to read from this headline. The RNC paid more than $121,000 toward former ex-president Donald Trump's personal legal bills as he faces a criminal investigation in New York. So it just makes me wonder about people out there who have contributed money to the Republican Party in an effort to get new Republicans elected to push their particular policy proposals, which at this point, there are no policy proposals of the of the right, of, of the Republican Party. All it is is own the libs. All it is is inflamed culture war. So that's neither here nor there because that's really not what's happening. But they are now, I wonder how they feel about paying Donald Trump's personal legal bills in a criminal investigation, a criminal defense attorney. This is from The Insider. The Republican National Committee put more than $121,000 of funds toward former ex-president Donald Trump's legal fees as he faces a criminal investigation over his financial practices in New York. In October, the committee made two payments totaling $121,670 to the law firm of Ronald Fischetti, a criminal defense attorney Trump hired in April of this year amid the years-long investigation by Manhattan District Attorney's Office into the Trump Organization and the former president's business dealings, which I am going to get to, as I try to do things with one hand, in a different, in another story right after this one. If you're watching this video in another hour, like if this one just got posted in another hour, this one's going to be up. I haven't even talked about it yet. And it's not looking good. It looks like he's going to be facing uh, consequence because the, the, the state of New York, the municipality of New York City is not playing around here. One payment of $58,240 was made on October 6th, and another payment of $63,430 was made on October 13th per Federal Election Commission filings seen by Insider. Though the party's executive committee approved the payments in recent weeks, the requests for legal funds came over the summer, a person familiar with the matter told the Washington Post. In May of this year, Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. announced he was convening a grand jury as his office investigates whether the Trump Organization violated state tax laws by keeping two sets of books, one for favorable tax and loan rates, and the other to pay little in taxes. The inquiry into Trump and his company's finances is wide-ranging and has been underway for more than two years. The office of New York Attorney General Letitia James is also investigating the Trump Organization's finances as well as the former president's personal finances to determine if the company falsely inflated the value of Trump assets for the purpose of loans and tax benefits. And again, I've read this article from the Washington Post and it is not, we're talking about, since I'll just give you a preview of what the video is going to be. We're talking about one, one uh, at one time saying the, uh, a building of his was worth $527 million for loans and such. And then when it came time to pay taxes, he said the same 70-story building was worth $16.7 million. This is the kind of discrepancy and fraud that took place with Donald Trump. And it is tax evasion. A guy who already doesn't pay income tax is trying to not pay his fair share even more. Another source familiar with the committee's discussions regarding paying Trump's legal bills told the Post that the Republican National Committee approved the decision because James, Letitia James, the attorney general of the state of New York, had made past remarks targeting the former president. 
Because remember, if you say anything negative about the president, you're targeting him because he is a thin-skinned freak. The source added that the organization is not paying legal fees related to the probe looking into J Trump's role in the January 6th riot. Weird that they would add that. I, I don't know what implications that has. But it is strange that the party itself would want to distance itself from Donald Trump and January 6th. A little premature. That's something to, to file away and keep in the back of your mind. Representative Sir Trump's office, Fischetti's law firm, and the Republican National Committee did not immediately return insiders' request for comment. Of course, they probably will not. Uh, as a leader of our party, this is laughable. I included this because it's just so stupid. As a leader of our party, defending President Trump and his record of achievement is critical to the GOP. The party said in a written statement to the Post, it is entirely appropriate for the Republican National Committee to continue assisting in fighting back against the Democrats' never-ending witch hunts and attacks on him. So you're paying his criminal, his personal criminal attorney. I'm sure your donors are real happy that their money is not going to elect Republicans, but going to defend the criminality of your golden god, Donald Trump. Gross. Anyway, I would love to know what you think about this. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would absolutely love to hear your opinion. Uh, follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore just about everywhere. And if, and only if, I bring you some value that you appreciate, please consider supporting my work here on the platform for as little as $2 a month, a buck 99 a month. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member, or head on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, which is a place to support my work. Not just the podcast, also what I do here. It's all under one umbrella. The podcast is recorded into the same mic <laughs> that this video is. Anyway, I love you guys. I very much appreciate your engagement with my content, your likes, your subscribes, your YouTube happenings. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.